Good evening, I'm Mike Brooks. I'm Carol Larson. Here's some of the latest news from Two Works for You. Watch out for poachers. The Oklahoma Department of Wildlife always watching out for them. Game warden Carlos Gomez tells us poaching has always been an issue. Last month, they investigated a case where a young elk was dumped behind a building at 21st and Yale in Tulsa. Right now, they're working on leads for that case. He says 100 game wardens across Oklahoma receive tips through phone calls, things they hear in coffee shops, even social media. It's just folks that like to brag and, and show what they've done. And sometimes they may not know it's a game violation. Sometimes they don't care or realize that, uh, you know, word, word spreads. The department also uses social media to educate people who want to hunt responsibly. Before you do hunt and fish, they say make sure you have a license and follow all the rules so you don't end up with a hefty fine. Playgrounds at Case Community Park are finally open after months of flood recovery. Sand Springs Parks posted to Facebook saying two new larger playgrounds are now open. If you remember back in the spring, flooding from the Arkansas River tore down fences and trees, leaving acres of damage. And we're tracking the potential for severe weather as we head towards our Friday afternoon into the evening hours. We see with future track radar the chance for storms developing by Friday around lunchtime. And then that transitions over to snow by Saturday morning with light amounts possible as a band of snow moves through northeast Oklahoma by about 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Saturday. That moves out. And uh, temperatures will remain cold Saturday. Temperature near 30, upper 40s on Sunday. Back in the 50s and 60s for Monday and Tuesday of next week. All right, thank you, sir. And for more news, just go to our website or our mobile app. That's right. Our Two Works Street Warning Team will be here to start your day at 430.